Hey everyone, Ollie Lindley here from One Number, and today we're going to chat through fixed LODs and how they interact with your dimension filters. The workbook that we're going to use today is in the description below, so you can download that and follow along if you want. But there are a couple of scenarios that I want to talk you through as we get started. The first is, say we've got a view like this, right, where we're looking at our categories and subcategories, and then we've got our sum of sales. Maybe what we want to do is create a you know, another column in between category and subcategory that shows the category sales amount for each subcategory. Now, by default, we're going to run into some problems, right? If I drag some of sales onto rows and I make this discrete and I drag it over after category, you'll notice I'm just getting my subcategory sales, right? There's my 91,000. Here's my 91,000. And even if I drag it over, uh, I'm still going to be left in the same position that I was in. Here's my 91,000. And this is because the level of detail of this worksheet is the subcategory level. Now, I have done a video on level of detail and fixed level of detail expression. So if this, this is a new concept to you, you might want to check that out. We'll try and put that up uh, on the screen now or in the description below. So that is a good place to start. But what we're going to do is create a simple calculated field that says for each category, show me my sum of sales, right? So fixed at the category level, show me my sum of sales. I'm going to drag this onto rows, make this discrete, drop that between category and subcategory. And there's our second column. Okay. So far, so good. Now here's where we run into some issues. So because our fixed LODs are carried out before our dimension filters, what could end up happening is a situation like this, right? I've got a filter on region. This is my dimension filter. And so at the moment, we're just seeing the West, uh, you know, all the subcategory sales amounts for the West region. This is fine, but if you keep an eye on the 742, as we filter through, the 742 is not changing. So what does that mean? Well, it's not necessarily wrong. The subcat, the category sales amount for the for uh, furniture is seven hundred and forty two thousand dollars, but it's not that in the West region right now, and so that could be misleading to our end users who are flicking through our filter and seeing, oh, in the East, furniture sales were seven hundred and forty two thousand. Right, that's where it can get confusing. So what we're going to want to do is come back to this order of operations and we're going to bump our dimension filter above the fixed LOD, which is being carried out here so that the dimension filter region is carried out before the fixed LOD is calculated, meaning that as the filter value changes, the fixed LOD amount changes too. So what we're going to do now is take our sales, our, I'm sorry, our region filter, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say add to context. That's really it. Add to context. It turns gray. And now you'll notice we can flick through that and that value is changing there. 164, 208, 117. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to talk you through one or two other things that I think are super important, but I just want to say that if you're keen to level up your Tableau skills over the next little while, we've got a bunch of awesome classes from beginners to advanced courses, and we've just launched our Tableau training passport, which is 50% off of all of our classes. You get access to class recordings for two weeks, and it's, it's about over 60 hours of live instruction. We'd love to see you there. Okay. Here's, here's one of the final things I want to show you. There are some times where you don't need that dimension filter to go above your fixed LOD. So you might be thinking, well, surely it makes more sense, like more likely than not, you're going to put your dimension filter onto context. Maybe. It's not necessarily that simple, right? What about a situation like this where we have, we still have our subcategories, but what we're doing is we're trying to calculate our subcategory percentage of total. So you'll notice we've got the sales percent of total on columns. Let me show you that calculated field. That really just says, hey, take my sum of sales and divide it by the, take a look here, the subcategory sum of sales. So for each subcategory, show me my sum of sales. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that I can take the sum of sales for whatever subcategory I'm looking at, in this case, accessories. And as I filter, right, as my dimension filter is applied, my normal dimension filter will 
change or filter this sum of sales value, but it's not going to filter this sales subcategory value. This is saying we're going to fix that sales amount for each subcategory. So that is not changing. But as we filter by year of order date, as we filter by region, as we filter by whatever dimension, this top value can change. And so we're going to be able to get a percentage of total sales. And that can kind of be hard coded in there like this. Now, the benefit of doing it this way, right? Maybe we're thinking, can't we just use a table calculation? You can, but the benefit of doing it this way is we still have a fixed LOD running over here, our sales for each subcategory, right? So we're saying, hey, for each subcategory, show me my sum of sales. So now I've got my subcategory total sales over here. And as we filter through, I'm seeing the percentage of sales, which is essentially this value divided by this one. So hopefully that's helpful to take a look at. Um, I think that this interplay, let's go back to order of operations, of fixed LODs and dimension filters can be incredibly useful as you try and work out, hey, what values need to stay the same and what values do I want to filter? You will notice one last flag that this include and exclude LOD care is carried out after our dimension filters. So that is another option as well. If you just need your level of detail expression to be filterable by a dimension, you can use include or exclude if for some reason you don't want to put that dimension filter onto context. So here, maybe you want some fixed LODs and your normal dimension filter and some include or exclude. That's fine as well. I know that there are uh, a lot of questions that we might have, um, but a great place to tackle this is in class with us. We've got a whole class on sets, parameters, and LODs, where we deep dive into LODs and how we can use them in our, in our uh, Tableau worksheets. So we'd love to have you there. If you've got any questions, feel free to put them in the chat below, but otherwise we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.